striking, on hill there sat gladsome Egther, he who guards the ogress. Over him gaily in the gallows tree crowed the fair red cock who is Fahala height. Crows over the gods ghouling comedy. Wakes he the heroes who in Heron dwell. Another crows the earth beneath and the halls of hell of hue dark red. Garm bays loudly before Nippa cave, breaks his fetters and freely runs. The fates I fathom, yet farther I see, of the mighty gods, the engulfing doom. Brothers will battle to bloody end, and sisters' sons their sibs betray. Woes in the world, much wantonness. Axe age, sword age, sundered our shields. Wind age, wolf age, ere the world crumbles. Will the spear of no man spare the other? Mimir's sons dance. The downfall bows when blares the gleaming Gahala horn. Loud blows Heimdall with horn aloft, and in hell's dark hall, horror spreadeth. Once more, Odin, with Mim's head speaketh, ere Sirk Sib swallows him. Trembles the towering tree Yggdrasil, its leaves sound loudly. Unleashed is the Etten. What ails the Aesir and what the Alfar? In uproar, all Etans are the Aesir met. At the gates of their grots, the wise dwarves groan in their fell fastnessness. Know ye further how? Garn bays loudly before Nippa cave, breaks his fetters and freely runs. The fates I fathom, yet farther I see. See far and wide, the world's about. Comes Herm from the east, holding his shield, the mid-guard worm in a mighty rage. Scatters the waves, screams the eagle, his nib tears the dead, Nagalfar loosened. Comes a ship from the east with shades from hell. Over the ocean stream steers it Loki. In the wake of the wolf rush witless hordes who with baleful Bile's brother do fare. Comes Surt from the south with the singer of twigs. The war god's sword like a sun doth shine. The tall trees totter, the trolls stagger. Men fare to hell, the heavens rise. Another woe awaiteth Lynn when forth goes Odin to fight the wolf and the slayer of Beli to battle with Surt. Then Frigga's husband will fall lifeless. Strides forth Vider, bow father's son, the fearless fighter Fenrir to slay. To the heart he hews the vathrung son. Avenged is then Vider's father. Comes then Mjolnir's mighty wielder, gapes the grisly earth-girdling serpent when strides forth Thor to say the worm. Mightily mauls Midgard's warder. Shall all whites in the world wander from home? Back falls nine steps, Jorgen's offspring, nor fears for his fame from the frightful worm. Neath the sea the land sinketh, the sun dimmeth, falls from the heavens the fair bright stars, gushes forth steam and gutting fire, to very heaven soar the hurtling flames. Garm bays loudly before Nippa cave, breaks his fetters and freely runs, the fates I fathom yet farther I see of the mighty gods, the engulfing doom. I see green again with growing things. The earth arise from out of the sea. Fell torrents fall, overflies them the eagle on Hoare Highland, which hunts for fish. Once more the I see her on Itha Plain meet and speak of the mighty Midgard worm. Again go over the great world doom. 
and thimble tears unfathomed room. Then in the grass, the golden figures, the far-famed ones will be found again, which they had owned in olden days. On unsown acres, the ears will grow. All ill grow better. Will Balder come then? Both he and Hode in Rock's Hall dwell. The war god's fame. Do ye wit more how? Then will Homir handle the blood one, and Ig's brother's sons will forever dwell in wide wind home. Do ye wit more or how? I see a hall. Then the sun more fair, that with red gold, which is Gimli height. There will the gods, all guiltless throne, and forever live in ease and bliss. A down cometh to the doom of the world, the great godhead which governs all. Comes the darksome dragon flying, Nidog upward from the Nitha fells. He bears in his pinions as plains, he overflies naked corpses. Now she will sink. Hail the gods and our folk! Hail! Hail! Hail!